Recruits of the Irish Army. You guys asked for it. Let's go. But only 40 have been chosen. Get it done. Shut up. Fresh. Fresh. Let's go. Don't roll your fucking eyes up to heaven at me. Do you understand that? That's it, is it? That's all you got? No. Pass them up. Well, then get up there. Come on. Go. Let's go. Over 17 of the toughest weeks of their lives, these young recruits will have mind, body and spirit pushed to the limit and one in three will fall along the way. This isn't the fucking Boy Scouts. The next person I catch, go on, ouch, have a thistle in me fucking hand. I'll kill you stone day. Try aggression, try go, come on, be a winner! I'm willing to sacrifice anything. It's the end goal and I'm, I'm, I'm watching. Oh, yeah, all right, relax, relax, relax. There's a bus back there, you can go and get on it. You know, I'm labouring for it all day. I have never been as disappointed in a body of troops. I'd say most of you would be lucky to be fucking... I think that's pretty consistent. That I've never been more disappointed line. I don't care whether it's the Irish Army, recruitment boot camp, or the U.S. Marine Corps... The Marine Corps does it a little bit differently. There's a lot of expletives and four-letter words mixed in. A lot of spitting. Same concept. In the army. Ah! Just a matter of taking it on the chin, doing what you have to do, and getting back up and going again. Keep the fire going! Come on, let's go, let's go! Hardship forces a group of people together. It forms stronger bonds. You have some of the best friends you'll ever develop when you're in there for 17 weeks, and they'll always be friends with one another. There's guys there now that, if push comes to shove, would die for one another because of the bond they make. 40 people, 17 weeks, one goal. Who will make it all the way from civilian to soldier? Now some backdrop for us that aren't Irish. I looked it up here. There's less than 10,000 total troops in the Irish Army to include reservists, around 7,000 active duty or permanent, as they call it, and quite frankly, 16, 1,700 reservists. So we're talking 9,000 max. So on their deployments, I've looked at some of those. They'll send 100 troops here, 100 troops there. Not a lot of deployments, all peacekeeping missions. Just some backdrop for you guys. All right, I'll keep You good? 40 new recruits arrive at the Curra Army Camp in County Kildare. For the next 17 weeks, they will undertake the basic military training they need to become soldiers. Your sons and daughters, partners, brothers, sisters are going to be trained in the 1st Armored Cavalry Squadron for the next four months. The training will be tough. We make no apologies for that. It was a very competitive recruitment campaign. You're the top 40. There's another 40 and another 40 and another 40 waiting behind you. So you have to grab that opportunity and you have to make the best of it. Now, a question for you Irish viewers. Is it that selective to get in? Because they're only taking 40. So maybe what, have three classes a year, two classes a year. That's 160 people a year that get into this. I don't know how many want to, but it sounds like from this guy, it's pretty selective. Put that in the comments. You should just listen up there. When I tell you to stand to attention, just bring your two feet together and two hands in tight down by your sides, yeah? So stand to attention. Sit and walk on. I'm after actually playing three times. Third time lucky. Nerve wracking at start, but. No need to look at us or look around you. Pick a spot on the wall and that's what you look at. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to use my frame of reference, the U.S. Marine Corps. They've got a dorm-like setup, relatively relaxed, pretty standard stuff. Um, you guys have seen the Marine Corps hysteronics. That's a little bit different. Question for you guys. What is the thing with the beret with the little strings behind it on the men? Interesting. Looking forward to see what they're going to show us. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My twin sister's actually a private soldier in Kilkenny Barracks. So over the last few years, seeing her actually made me want to be a part of it. They're naturally tough girls, right? They're yeah. small, they're tough. But hardy. Yeah, they're hardy, yeah. yeah. Well, she kind of puts herself in that frame of mind. You know, once I'm up here now, I just go to get the head down. And, well, that's <laughs> the advice. I'm going to make a little joke at the Irish expense. So wrote to me in the comments, I almost need subtitles. <laughs> I can't understand what they're saying. It's like going to the South and the U.S. Sometimes you can't understand what people are saying. Together anyway. 
Keep your head down and get on with it and say nothing. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful to Ireland and loyal to the Constitution. And that they swear an oath to stay loyal to the Constitution and to the state. Went on to college, but I don't think he will ever settle down to nine to five. I think the army actually will suit him down to the ground. You know, I suppose time will tell. Now, if you're Irish, I haven't looked this up, put it in the comments. Can you join the UK or the British Army? Can you do that? Could you join the Royal Marines? I know there's Scotsmen in it, but if you're Irish, can you? Educate me. Training is going to be tough. Be under no illusions, okay? This is not a picnic. It's not a fucking day camp. You're going to be tired. You're going to be pissed off. You're going to be miserable. It's preparing you so that when you go to Syria and you're shot at, you don't cave. I will not accept bad attitudes. I will not accept back answering or bullshit like that to NCOs or to myself. Ye all want to be here. Ye all fought hard to be here. But now you have to show me that you deserve to be here. Hey. Hey. That's pretty standard. The lip beating you get. Um, I appreciate his fervor. He's definitely letting them know he's not going to put up with their shit. Less than two hours on the base, and recruit O'Boyle is drawing attention to himself. Get your hands out of your pockets, and your back answer me. Why? You don't know. You know where you are now, right? You're in the army now, okay? Careful. 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 Not sure why they didn't just shave their heads when they got there. They got ladies in the platoon. Honestly, I think they should just shave everybody's head when they go. Men and women. What do you guys think about that one? Put it in the comments. What kind of dumbass goes in the army and doesn't think he's getting a haircut? I mean, these guys aren't getting their haircut super short. This kid is either totally a rock or a mama's boy. I don't think I'll last now. I'm a bit of a mommy's boy. I'm used to just sitting at home with my mum, making me everything. Yeah, sitting at home with your mom. Shit. Mad. A bundle of energy. Seriously, you'd put him down, gone. Up trees, crazy. Always had a football. Definitely a mommy's boy. Breakfast in bed, dinner up to the room. So I always thought that if Dara ever left home, he'd never be able to mind himself because he'd never done anything for himself. My friends call me the, the proud mammy. I'm constantly talking about him. <laughs> we call that a helicopter parent in the United States. She needs to cut the apron string and let this little brat take care of himself. There isn't one person in salvage, I don't think, that doesn't know you're in the army. Discipline is the base on which you form your training. Everything about an army is discipline. If you let discipline slide, well then everything else will slide with it. Try and start switching on. Just because you've had breakfast doesn't mean you switch off. Full bellies. It's all going to Kind of a weird formation they got going there. I'm not sure exactly why they got these big gaps in the middle. The people in the back look like they're in a normal position. These guys have this big gap. Maybe someone's using the bathroom. Tell me, rub your bellies. No, 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 no. Switch on. Every morning, the corporals inspect the recruits at parade. Each recruit is paired with a buddy, responsible for making sure each other's grooming and uniform are in perfect order. Your pocket's open as well, Burn. Take a step to the rear, get off parade. Take a step to the rear and get off parade. Do it properly. Oh, boy, did I ask you? To bend down. Did I? No Take a step to the rear and get off parade. If the recruit and their buddy haven't got everything in order, it means one thing. Corrective action for both of them. Arms out! Arms out! Something. Arms out straight. How many times you have to be told? Everybody's told at the start when you're getting in trouble, it's nothing personal. But it's just instilling the discipline in them. And you learn from your mistakes quick enough because nobody wants to get bottled. Now, those are good exercises. We call them Roman chairs. But try that at home. Just go to the back of a wall and get your legs at a 90-degree angle. And I'll bet you can't make it more than a minute. Those are good exercises. In the Marine Corps, they do it as a P 
PT, right? Extra incentive training. Nobody likes a bottle. Do you know, it's embarrassing and just you don't want to be shouted at, you know, you just want to do it right. So they learn quick enough. This can't be the same platoon. They just got there and they look like they're pretty squared away on the run. This must be a different platoon because again there's only 40 coming into that class and it's three months what yeah three months four months whatever it is so 160 a year maybe this is the class ahead of them at the core of basic training is physical exercise none of the recruits is army fit that will change he didn't ask you to talk did he no one asks you to talk when you fall in you fall the fuck in and stay quiet that's the way it's done, yeah? Yes, Carver. That's a sergeant. That's a sergeant. Three. We just work together. Four. We just work together. Do your job. Get up there. Do your job. Get up there. Do your job. Do your job. Get up there. Do your job. I was made a runner for my last job on the lookout for something different. I was a care assistant, so. Oh, I always love those push-ups where they're on their knees. I tell you. It was a, a change, all right. Dig into yourself. What is that? It's empty work. There's only myself and another girl were um, teaming up well. You have to get on because there's only the two years and at the end of the day, like, we're going to be best friends but we just have to have each other's back no matter what. It was hard, it was tough. You were getting that shower. You can feel proud of yourself. You've done a good job for your first PT session, everyone. After 14 hours of grueling physical exercise, military training and lectures, the recruits must spend their evening getting ready for the following morning's inspection. Everything must be squared away. All right, as you guys know, I call it like I see it. That didn't look grueling to me. Looks like normal PT. So this announcer is using some poetic license. I guess if you're sitting on your ass on the couch, that may be grueling, but it looked like normal PT. It's tough. Like, I was so free when I was at home. And now I keep my clothes clean and dusting three or four times a day and going to sleep at half 11 where I'd normally be up till the morning. I made a bed for the first time in about two years yesterday. Phone's gone at 10 to 11, yeah, so it's... Um, there were some people, anxiety issues about being separated. All right, let me give you my two cents since you didn't ask. None of these guys should have phones. They got an army boot camp. I think they have limited phones if they're hurt or something. No phones. You better do one job. Not talk on the phone to your girlfriend. Not playing some game. It's totally distracting. Now, compared to U.S. military boot camp, this is a lot different. All the free time and everything else. Is it a bad thing? I don't know. It's just different. So I'm giving you some perspective. It reminds me of being back at school, like you're kind of being told what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Like. That's the whole time this morning, I'm at the collective looking at me. I was never a morning person. You know, 11 o'clock would have been early for me, but like you used to go to bed at about half, two, three o'clock every night, you'd be home. If you watch the Rambo, you watch Nathan Tall on the telly. They're up there about quarter seven after two or three corporates coming every morning inspecting the room. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Sorry, Carpet, it's not your name. Don't laugh. It's not going to be funny. Don't laugh. Like, it's a bit of a shock to the system to begin. Again, why do these guys have these long things off their beret? Like, the women don't have it, and the men have it. I'm sure there's some history behind it. Tell, put that in the comments. Educate me. Just, you know, you're going from meeting everyone and all of a sudden you'll be put in your place every second of the day. Like I wouldn't be too affected by it. Like my father is an ex guard sergeant. Like <laughs> I know what it's like to be shouted at. Let's go. Bit of aggression now. Come on. Some aggression. Driver, come on. Driver, that's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Johnny, push up. Lose out. On me. Three, four, one. Fine, fine. Back in. Don't Physically, it's picked up a lot. Like yesterday's PT session, I was was heavy, heavy going. If I hadn't done that on the first day, I would have been wheeled out in a wheelchair. So I would. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Recruit training is a, a mental challenge. People are purposely put under pressure to see do they break, basically. Bend your fucking arms, though. If they're going to be serving overseas in the likes of Syria or the Golan Heights in a year or a year and a half's time. We need to have soldiers that don't cave under pressure and that don't crack. Why does that matter, right? Why does all this matter? We don't want to send one of these kids over there, not equipped, and have them get killed, right? They may do nothing. 
Most people don't. They may shuffle papers for four years. But if you send them over to the Golan Heights, like you mentioned, and they're doing security or peacekeeping, they need to have some basic military understanding and gone through some hardship so they come back to Ireland, right? That's the point of all this. What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you here? You don't want to do this. I'm stopping you inside for myself. No! I'm stopping you inside for myself. What's wrong with you? You're not able for it. There's a bus back there. You can go get on it. You're not able for it all day. All day we're at you. Stand to attention when I call the talk at you. Oh, Jesus. Do you hear this? Oh, Neil, on me now. Oh, Jesus. Come on, on me. Not able for it. You get them as young recruits, and then you turn them into the soldier that you want them to be. There's an old saying in the army, to make them, you have to break them. Come on, turn them runners off. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Attrition has set in. Even at this early stage, some recruits are struggling. In the first week, there's two people have chosen to leave. The second person left today, recruit Sheehan, didn't want to drag it out anymore. It's a bit of a nightmare, the first three weeks because you're constantly bringing in new people. I was on this way that I would be saying it was Ireland the night I was working in the security job. You know, I wanted to sort myself out. Little lad, 2 November. It's for him and it's for my girlfriend as well. As well for myself as well, like, you know, to make something of myself. And then on the other side, you're discharging the other people. Yeah, I'm gone. Any particular reasons? Um, I just don't have the intelligence to deal with it. Just not what you thought it would be. I said I'd try it out just to see. Yeah. I go back and forth with whether guys should just be able to quit, right? So these guys are saying, I'm done, I want to go home. There's been plenty of time and training where I didn't want to do it. I guess you could have quit, but I had too much pride to go back and quit something. Whether I was in boot camp or in the Fleet Marine Corps, I wasn't going to quit a training because I was uncomfortable. These guys would benefit from that if they force them to stay. They've already invested money in them. Force them to stay for a month. Just don't let them quit because some of these guys need a little nudge. Need to get off the nipple a little bit. I'm wearing myself into becoming a soldier, but yeah, I just don't think I have what it takes. Okay. With almost a week gone, 19 year old Mark Duffy joins the troop. The training can't slow down for any individual. It'll be up to him to catch up as quickly as possible. Last night, I probably I forgot about three hours sleep because I was just too nervous to just come up to date. Boy, he looks like a weakling. Hopefully he'll gain weight in boot camp. Now, I've seen kids like this in boot camp gain weight and gain muscle. I lost a bunch of weight because I was a big guy, big muscled up guy, but these little scrawny ones sometimes gain weight. Now, he may be like a superhuman freak athlete, but I doubt it. So the fence for a few years and I like I've been in the scout center for a good few years from that as well. I've like even I've been a scout since about six years of age. So your first name as on your birth cert is Mark. Yeah, correct. And your surname is Duffy on your birth cert, yeah. Correct. Turn your hand slightly. So it's the longest way up. And then the shortest way down. Now, if he was in the Boy Scouts, that would help. I'm a big believer in that system for a lot of people. They follow through with things, some basic regimentation. So he may do well in the Boy Scouts. Let's see. Jeez. Get a new guy coming in. You're all welcoming him to him and try to get him up to our speed because you don't want to see him getting in trouble because he is like one of us. You really do feel like a bond going on. He'll get on ground. We'll welcome him. We'll take him under our wing in section trees. A good few people were like, yeah, that's great following your dreams and all that. And then other people are just, are you insane, really, going to the army? <laughs> but, like, these are the people I'm going to be friends with, like, for the rest of my life. And still, the running catches me a little bit. Recruit O'Dowd is a big man. Because of his sheer size, I think a lot of them look up to him. Literally, like, they, they look up to him. Absolute gentleman, big friendly giant does everything. All those damn tattoos. I'm not against them, but it seems a little ridiculous for a young guy to spend that much money on tattoos when he's barely gotten through puberty, but he decides he wants all this permanent ink. Rant over. 
forest, say. My bed broke the other night, believe it or not. I sat down and the, the hinges were gone off it. And it's about, I said, it's about 15 stone to carry, so I couldn't carry it. It says, that work, come here. Oh, yeah. And we have great time for all that with these sounds about them. Recruit MacDonald likes to walk his lurchers and go for a bit of hunting and that in the field, so, yeah, he's quite a funny character. Just looking forward then to next week, straight away from Monday morning, boot sticking in. It's time to up our game, all right? It's time to let them know that we expect more from them, all right? Definitely be one or two, I'd say, dropping on Monday. Yeah. Um, after the weekend and that, and once they see that it's not all fucking holding hands and everything like it was the first two weeks. Sir. Okay, so Paul, we'll uh, just have a quick review of where we are. So we start with uh, section one. Good people in section one so far are people that are standing out with Conroy. Okay. He's doing well. One, two, three, and four. The base and me! You have very strong characters in section three. Odell um, is performing very well okay. and is keeping the section very much in check. You have people in it that at the minute are kind of popping up in nights. Performance or attitude, attitude. combination? Oh boy, mm -hmm. his attitude towards NCO is not taking too well okay. to what he's yeah. been told. And at this early stage, it shouldn't really be as much in light with me to put okay. my, I know them better than I should at this stage. I can tell you what would happen in the Marine Corps. He'd get a beat down. He was a mouthy back talker, whatever you guys call it. Usually you can get it out of them. If they can't take the beat down, they usually shut up. There's not many that, that can, so they change it pretty quick. Boys, you have to be told to do something. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do it? It's difficult right now the first two weeks for head down and going all along now and try, try hard. Sometimes when I'm talking to him on the phone, I can hear it in his voice that it bad day, it was tough today. Do you know that kind of a thing? And he's oh, that's the mama's boy. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be there. That's why I didn't have any respect. His mother's hovering over him, wiping his rear end. He needs to be in the military. He's sucking it up. As you know, anything great isn't easy, so but you're doing it. From when they first arrived in two weeks ago to now, you can see a change. Um, it's probably too early to tell if they'll be good soldiers or not. It's the end of their second week, and the recruits are looking forward to their first weekend pass home, with spirits high and only hours to go before they leave. Keeping their focus is essential. Yeah, they could cut this training down a lot, skip the weekend passes, and then jerk it around at night. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. For my current subscribers, I appreciate you. If I get some views in this video, I'll do the rest of it. Thanks for watching.